So I'm going to explain uh, red black left leaning red black trees, uh, and I'm using the slides from Robert Sedgwick's um, talk. And um, um, I'm going to basically devote one video to two, three, four trees, and then another video to the uh, left leaning red black trees. Okay, so two, three, four trees. Um, they are just like uh, binary search trees, but instead of uh, just uh, one key per node, uh, we have multiple uh, keys. And um, the main thing is that we keep the tree in perfect balance. So all paths from the root to the leaf will always have exactly the same length. Okay? So, um, so we allow one, two, or three keys in each node. And uh, the in the two node we have one key and two children, in the three node two keys and three children, in the four node three keys and four children. And we can't have more than uh, three keys in a node. Okay, so, um, so here is an example. Um, here we have the root node is K and R, so if an example comes in, uh, if it's uh, smaller than K, uh, then it goes uh, here. If it is between K and R, it goes here, and if it is larger than R, it goes here, and so on. Okay, so um, so that's pretty straightforward. Uh, when we do a search, um, that's how it works. Suppose we're searching for an L, then an L is between K and R, so we go on the middle path. Okay, um, then we so compare to uh, oh search is pretty N, much so um, takes care of itself. Um, but insertion is more complicated. So in insertion, we basically uh, search for the element, see where it should be. And in this case, we are looking for B. So we're going down here, and we're finding out that there is no B here. So B is missing, and we want to add it. But we can't add it under here, because then the path won't be of equal length. So what we're going to do is simply add it into this node. Okay, so uh, if the node that we reach, the base node is uh, single uh, or two, then it's simple to add our node there. Okay, so we have two node at the bottom, we convert to uh, three. Okay, so we add the B right after this. Um, similarly, if we um, go with X and we reach an end node that is uh, three, three nodes, so it has two keys, uh, we can still add the X. Okay, so we add the X, uh, and we get uh, this, because X was smaller than Y. Okay, so, so far, um, we were just adding nodes to, uh, adding the element to a node, making it a bigger node. Um, now, uh, suppose that we want to enter, to add an element, H here, and um, that element, when we get it, we don't find it, but we also can't add it to this node, right? We can't add it here uh, because um, we don't allow uh, nodes with four with four elements. So we need to do something to take care of this. Basically, we need to break up the the four node. Okay. So um, so that's uh, that's what we what we need to to do. There is no room for the H. We need to um, somehow uh, find find a way to reorganize the tree without making the nodes with have different lengths. Okay, so now we get to the heart of the uh, algorithm, which is um, how do we deal with uh, four nodes? Um, so the main thing here is that we deal with four nodes on the way down. So we basically split them up before we actually need to add anything to them. Okay? And uh, that that uh, makes things easier. Um, okay, so um, so suppose that uh, we're going down and we're finding um, a four node here uh, underneath a, a two node. So um, and suppose the elements here are uh, A, uh, B, C, D. Okay, and um, and here underneath those you have uh, the trees that are connected. Um, uh, let's call them um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? So uh, what happens is that we take this C 
and we push it up to the to the uh, upper node so we get a and C and then we have um, the elements that are smaller than C so that's B and the element that is larger than C that's D and in terms of the the subtrees uh, we basically just um, keep them in the same order so we have them here one two three four five these are the subtrees so we don't we don't we're not touching them okay so similarly if we have a uh, two node here so um, sorry a three node so this is a B and then this is uh, C D E then we push the D up so we get here a B D and um, we have here a C that is between B and D and the E that is larger okay and again uh, if the trees here were one two three four five six then here they just are staying one two three four five six these are the the subtrees okay so um, so that's the basic uh, operation as you see these operations uh, don't change the depth of the tree so therefore they uh, don't change the length of the path to any node okay uh, the only time that this won't work is if the node above the node that we see um, is also a four node okay but that can't happen because we're because we're splitting on our way down okay so here is the argument with the subtrees um, so here is uh, how a tree like this grows. Uh, basically, we start with a single A, then we add an S, we add an AES, and now we have um, a four node. Okay, so uh, now, um, um, once we have a four node, um, next time that we want to insert something, um, when we meet this uh, four node on the way down, we have to split it. So um, so we're making this four node into this three um, two nodes okay so that's um, how uh, it works uh, basically we push the E up but there's nothing up to take it so so we just create this new node and now we have a deeper tree a tree of depth uh, um, depth one um, and then um, and then we can easily add our R to this node S here and as we continue, um, we get um, uh, we insert C. It uh, it inserts without a problem. We insert D. It inserts without a problem. Now, when we insert I, um, it it goes down uh, here without a problem. And now the next time um, that we need to add something here, we want to insert an N. Then um, we go here and we see that there are four nodes here, so we have to split them. So we get this configuration E R I S, and then we insert the N to to here. Okay, so that's basically how the whole thing works, and um, the main thing is to realize that we always have exactly the same distance from the root to any one of the of the leaves okay um, so that means that we have a uh, very tight bounds on um, how deep is the tree okay so we're using the tree um, very well and uh, if all of the nodes are two nodes which would make us deepest we get log 2 of n um, uh, levels to the tree and if um, 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 all of the nodes are four nodes so then the that's the best case because uh, the tree would be the shallowest um, then um, we have that uh, all of the the, the depth is half log n um, so it basically will take us between we'll have between 10 and 20 levels if we have 1 million nodes and between 15 and 30 if we have 1 billion nodes so the that's um, why we um, this is the guarantee that we get when we are searching for elements in the tree will at most uh, have uh, 20 uh, steps uh, if it's a million and at most 30 steps if it's a billion.